Hey guys, Toy here. I've got the latest Care Bear Bear Break in this lovely form. I haven't bought any Bear Breaks for a while because I've grown out of it. They've been releasing too rapidly and too many. But anyways, back to this one. The first two iterations of the pink one I did not get. I'm really, really glad I got this one because this one looks absolutely amazing. The fluff, the stitch, the embroidery, etc. makes it all the better. I mean, come on, it's Care Bear. It's got to have fluff. If this one sells so well, they'll release other colours. For example, the yellow, blue, green, whatever the colours they are. I don't know, around 7 or 10. Crazy amount basically. And as always, tiny like the like button and sub to my channel for more stuff like this. Without further ado, let's pop it open. Alrighty, let's have a look at the box first. As usual, we've got the bear brick right in the center, Care Bear's Care Bear Bear Brick. And at the bottom, you've got the other variations in yellow and blue. It's all pretty cheery and happy. Let's have a look at the side. You can see the pink one at the bottom, Care Bear's at the top, the logo basically, and a black similar motion. And on the other side, we don't have anything other than that rainbow of that. And without further ado, we can pop him open. As with the new ones, you've got all the authentication tags at the bottom of the box, as well as at the bottom of the bear's feet. Just download the hidden tag app and then scan the sticker. Right, I've been waiting for this. 3, 2, 1, whoa, this is great. I can't believe it's finally here. Look at it. The quality's good. I mean, the craftsmanship for the rainbow on the belly is definitely better than what I've expected because you didn't get the tacky rainbow with the kind of distorted lines, but they're all uniformly formed, which is nice. And also you've got the face, which is really, really greatly done as well. Eyes, nose, mouth, freckles, all crafted nicely. You can kind of see the deviation on the scalp at the inner side, as well as this layering of fur on the outer. So you can see these lines being very apparent. That's for the overall shape though, but in terms of the stitching of the embroideries for the eyes, they're pretty good as well as you can see the fine details are captured or here. Those you can see the heart shape just about here, which is nice, and also the stitching for the mouth is great as well. Okay, we've already talked about hands, it's pretty much a standardized bare brick hands with fur restricting the inner so you can't really move it too much. So basically you can move it one gesture and that's it. Can't move it to the back, I don't want to break it. For feet, you get the heart at the bottom. Let me cover the sticker and our DCFC here. And it's embroidered as well, which is nice. The stitching for the outer layer deviates a little bit from the inner layer of the bare brick. So you've got this kind of deviated mold here, which I need to kind of push down to make it align, or better aligned. Again, you can't maneuver it too much, just the one bend, not it. Overall, I think the fabric is nice, acrylic as usual, similar to what you get in Zara or H&M acrylic clothing or synthetic, but it's very soft and nice, just don't put it near the fire. And on the back, you've got the heart at the right butt cheek, and that's pretty much it, and I think this... Uh, okay, the joint isn't that nice as you can see with the two kind of strings attaching the head together and you can't take this off. I eat the outer fur layer off so if you really really want to take this off you got to kind of cut it open. Because again, as I've said, the fluff makes it all the better. It's more authentic to the Care Bear series. I mean, it does look pretty good, being a companion for my Woody. Bad thing is that you can't bend it too wildly because of the restriction of the outer layer of the fur and also the back. The stitching is quite crappy in my point of view. Other than that, the stitching, the embroidery at the front all looks great. Other than some of the minor bits, like the deviation for the outer layer skin, the feet and the ear, that's pretty much all the nip. I've got for this one. What do you think of this? Will you get this one? Or do you prefer the previous iteration of the printed plastic ones? Comment down below and let me know. As always, kindly like the like button and sub to my channel for more stuff like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe and bye now.